everybody. Welcome to the Construction Record Podcast. This is Digital Media Editor Warren Fry, and with me today I have... Dwayne Johns, co-host of the Builder Nuggets Podcast, also a regional partner with Alaire Homes. And we haven't done a cross-pod in quite some time, but we're back with another one. Uh, and so what I'd like to ask first, Dwayne, is how... Uh, I'll ask about how you got into the podcast, but first, how did you get into construction generally? Yeah, construction generally, I have been doing this all my life. I'm uh, in my early 50s now, so, you know, I've been started with... Summer jobs, you know, in high school, moved on quickly into becoming a little bit more of a skilled trade, you know, honing my skills and craft and then became a sub trade for some custom builders and then said, hey, I want to go out and open my own business, become a builder remodeler and, you know, fast forward 25 plus years and and here I am. So, mm-hmm. uh, and uh, we'll get into what uh, Builder Nuggets is all about first, but how did you get into podcasting at all generally? Like what, what was your kind of intro to it? Yeah, I, I mean, you know, it's kind of been that evolution. I, I have wore all the hats, as I said, kind of started my mm-hmm. career working working as a laborer. And then, you know, you, you get better at that. You hone your skills at, at some of the, the, the craft side of things. And then starting your own business, you have to start to put on multiple hats, you know, and was really learning a little bit more around the business side of stuff and getting into sales. And then from there, I kind of moved even further into, okay, well, how do I got a, got, got a good business going? How do I grow this business and you know grow opportunities for some other folks who started getting involved in some entrepreneur groups and you know it was really through a i was part of a group called vistage vistage entrepreneur group Mm -hmm. i want to say maybe started that back in 2013 or 14 but you know that exposed me to a lot of different and successful business folks outside the construction industry and actually was kind of the light bulb moment for me that that made me realize that my passion was was actually more towards the business side of things, developing Mm -hmm. the business than it was actually building. You know, I had built, um, you know, nothing I hadn't done in construction from a hands-on standpoint through all the years Um, and, and, you know, enjoy it, but realize that, wow, you know what, the thing that's really exciting me now is to to help people build better businesses. So, Mm -hmm. you know, how could I kind of take some of the things that I've learned through the years and maybe share those with others? And that's really was kind of the, the, the foundation of, of the podcast that, I started with my co-host, Dave Young. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, when we started our podcast, it was, I think we were one of the first, and it's not even that far back, Uh, but we kind of did it from an editorial standpoint because we're the sort of newspapers of record or we're we're newspapers now, websites of record uh, for the Canadian construction industry. So it was just kind of a natural evolution for us. But for you, you were addressing a specific niche that I don't think that many people are doing. You're talking about the business side of construction, whereas most people are either doing new stuff like we are or it's boots on the ground stuff like guys you know in the field doing their thing or you know which is a perfectly valid thing to podcast about but you're doing something different so maybe you could go on and go into your approach with your podcast yeah i think that was the thing too that 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 i started to notice is that there's you know one thing i'm very i've always been passionate about elevating the, the level of professionalism in this industry you know i think a lot of folks will go into this this business Again, maybe similar to myself, maybe they learned some of the the trade when they were younger. Maybe they got thrown into it in some other way. There's not a ton of ways of going out there to get so-called educated. You know, you don't necessarily mm-hmm. go to um, formal schooling to become a custom home builder or a remodeler. It's, it's you learn by the school of hard knocks. Um, I find that you, you know, most of the learning obviously is done through trial and error, through some collaboration with other peers. Um, and all through that, even if people that become you know, master builders, very skilled uh, craftsmen, they probably never really went through any formal, you know, business coaching or, or business education. So anything, anyway, one trend that we had found is that, you know, there's a lot of people that will put 20, 30, 40 years or more of their life into uh, construction, especially owning and running a constru- residential construction business. Um and, you know, towards the end, they don't have a whole lot. And what I mean by that is maybe they've, yeah, maybe they've made a good living along the way, but they don't necessarily have a business that is truly of any value, something that's transferable. Um, mm-hmm. You just don't hear about it. I mean, how often do you hear about somebody that successfully, you know, sold their their remodeling or, or custom home building business after 25 or 30 years for some some windfall you know there's just some people just don't walk up and, and stroke a check to buy those businesses and yeah there's a lot of different reasons for that but that was sort of uh you know the things that kind of motivated us to to get behind the podcast and say hey you know there is an aspect of this there is a way that you can go about um 
building and growing your construction business in such a way that it will be considered almost like an investment grade business, you know, something that is transferable, something of value, something that is rewarding. Um, and yeah, to your point, there's lots of podcasts out there that talk about many other aspects of construction, whether it's mm-hmm. from building science to, um, you know, the latest and greatest in in products, but we really wanted to focus on the business side. And I, that, I think that's where the success has come from and had lots of uh, lots of engagement and, and interest from our listeners. And yeah, speaking of interest, what kind of feedback have you gotten from your listeners? As, as I assume this has been around for a few years now. Yeah, we're working on, I guess we're about a year and a half into this. We're up to, mm-hmm. well, I guess we're coming up on episode 80 right now. We do one a week. Um, and yeah, it's been, it's been very interesting. What we've learned along the way is that there's a lot of people that want to contribute. And that's really the way we, we started the platform was to say, Hey, we want to provide a place where, and I know just through my experience and reaching out through other, other successful builders, um, people that own contracting businesses, other consultants, uh, business coaches, industry leaders, there's a lot of folks out there and they're willing to share their successes and their failures. So, mm-hmm. you know, as I said earlier, being that one of the biggest struggles is is to try to figure all this stuff out on your own, um, because there isn't necessarily uh, that many education paths for it. Um, and I think with this industry, it's it's kind of a macho industry where you you kind of have to puff your chest and not necessarily, um, you know, ask for help all that often. Right. We're yes. Trying which to, is yeah. A problem well, with the industry, frankly. Yeah. Yes. We're, tr- we're trying to break that down a little bit and make it. N- to, so that it's not um, deemed, don't look at yourself as some kind of failure or, you know, it's actually when you go outside of our industry and look at lots of other industries and successful businesses, that's exactly how folks have done it. They've collaborated on a very high level with other successful people. Um, and that's been really, I think, probably the most exciting thing. And what we've, the, the biggest feedback that we've gotten from everybody is, as I said, from from fellow business coaches, builders, remodelers, we have different types of guests on every week. Um, mm-hmm. And everybody responds. The, the 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 responses are overwhelmingly similar in that they can relate to the story, you know, that someone is telling. Um, and that's that's ultimately what we're trying to do. We're trying to get some people on, tell the story of their both their successes and their failures, um, and you know, share that for for even more success. Now, I would imagine because I've run into the same thing. And I'm sure most podcasters have. But you go in with a set a set of ideas, saying, "Okay, this is what we're going to talk about," and then circumstances or more likely the audience kind of shapes what you actually do end up talking about because that's what they're interested in. So what would be some of those changes from what you started with to what you're where you're at now? Yeah, it's interesting. Sometimes we'll even change gears right during the podcast. You know, we don't mm-hmm. script a whole lot. We really um, will just, if we have a potential guest or someone we think uh, would be a good fit for the podcast, we'll have a brief introductory phone call and, and maybe bounce a couple of bullet points off of uh, off of each other but we really don't script the episode you know what we want to do is say first of all we try to find something that people are passionate about we find that if they are they're they're generally going to open up and and be much more excited to talk about that um but it's you know it's it's really it's uh, again to, to speak to this collaboration we've we've seen it change just from one guest connecting us with another guest, exposing us to someone mm-hmm. else that that was in their life, personally, professionally. Um, and yeah, we've we talked about anything from, you know, not charging for for estimates to um, mental health to uh, the economy. You know, we had an economics expert on I just interviewed last week that'll come out uh, within a few weeks. So it, it goes all over the place, but most of it is shaped like I said, by the connections we're making through this collaboration. Mm-hmm. We don't just have a giant list of, hey, here's all the you know, subjects. The, actually, that's one thing that did change. In the beginning, we had this big laundry list of all these topics we wanted to make sure we hit on, um, which I think you have to, obviously, for anybody yeah, if you're going to start something like a podcast. But we realized quickly that, oh, you know what? We're, we're just, the ideas are going to come from each and every new episode. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. One other thing we noticed looking at our stats is that primarily it's Canadians and Americans listening to us. But we also got we ended up doing a podcast with a guy who does a construction podcast in Ireland because people were listening from there. So where what have been some surprises for you for that for people and, and what stuff just applies to an American audience and what stuff applies universally that you talk about? Yeah, we've had some connections with folks all around the globe and we actually did connect with um Russ Stevens in the APB in, in Australia and that that was mm-hmm. a really good episode. And actually I'm I've going to be on their podcast uh have already recorded i think that's coming out uh sometime in july and um yeah you know the the fact that uh, the similarities well first of all the the struggles are the same 
And that is, yeah. that, that's clear, no matter, and it doesn't matter what industry you're in. You know, sometimes we get in this bubble in construction and we want to say, oh, well, you know, people don't understand construction or it's not like that in our industry and blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, it's, it's business, you know, and the problems are the same. Uh, and the other thing that I've found is whether these companies are large or small, the problems are the same. Now, the problems might get a little bit bigger or they might seem a little bit more unsurmountable. But at the end of the day, when you drill down, um, they're, they're all the same. So from that standpoint, it's it's very similar. The, the differences we've seen is maybe what are the current you know, what are some of the current challenges? Obviously, mm-hmm. we were talking with the folks in Australia and they're dealing with a lot of the supply chain constraints and things like that, that we are. But they're, you know, their their market, so to speak, is maybe in a different place than we are. Um, you know, they're in a market that's grown even more than just the last couple of years. They've probably been on an upward trend for, hell, almost 20 years. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so I think they start to have a little bit of that feeling of, you know, is is there a bubble that's going to burst is it little is it a little bit bigger than you know maybe what you might see next in the u.s so it's i think some of those micro challenges are a little bit different but i I think more than anything um across borders it's interesting that the problems really are the same okay and i guess uh, my second to last question would be uh what do you plan to do with the podcast going forward because you've always got to change things up i know I, i know i do you know, we're going to continue, I think, to do more of the same. We've had nothing but positive feedback. Um, we mm-hmm. learn from it every day. I mean, when we started it, for sure, we were fumbling around and didn't really know how to pull one off properly and probably talk too much. Or, um, Yeah, I think, you know, really, it's like you said, are, are, do we feel like we're providing value to to the listeners? And so far, we have we've certainly have, have, have done that from the feedback we, we've received. Um, we haven't monetized the podcast yet. We may think about that because maybe that's an opportunity for us to grow the platform in a different direction. You know, we're not, that's something we're, we're thinking about behind the scenes, but the one thing we're, we're definitely landing on is this collaboration thing. We, we've realized we've created a little bit more than a podcast. It's almost like a platform for people to connect. So that's an idea that we've got and whether it's introducing people to other business coaches, um, you know, learning through, uh, what others have to share. But I think that's the biggest thing is we're going to expand our ability to to provide a platform for people that have had success or can help others with success. Get that word out to uh, to residential construction business owners. OK. And finally, if people are interested, and I think they would be given the industry this is aimed at, uh, where would they go to listen to Builders Nuggets? I think the easiest way is to just go to www.buildernuggets.com. You can find us on all the major podcast platforms uh, for Builder Nuggets. Um, and we're on the socials, Instagram, Facebook as well. Okay, great. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me on, and uh, best of luck going forward. <laughs>